Okay, everyone, welcome to Alchemy Star. So we're taking a look on how to clear H3 Devouring here in Embers Annihilation. So as you see here, guys, I've cleared this one. This is a bit challenging and um, I'm not using that lineup. I actually used, um, let me just uh, go through the lineups here. Okay. So this is the lineup that I did. Um, objectives for the lineup would be high DPS, a lot of converters, preferably converters who could do um, a first turn convert or conversion. Um, also pushback, which why Charon is here. I just don't have teleport here, which is also useful. And for this lineup, you don't need a healer as long as you could um deploy a lot of dps or damage early on so my other options if i don't use um one converter i take out faust so not not revy uh sorry so you're gonna go through fire options here um it's a bit lagging Okay, so other fire options, if you take out a converter for my lineup, would be Istvan. Istvan would be, um, of course, double your um, chain combat damage. So, but I'm opting for Faust because Istvan, um, I I need more, more of that mobility in terms of moving around the tiles because you'll be... You'll be kind of overwhelmed or swarmed by the minions of the boss. So let's take a look on how we're going to do this. The, the first um, first stage, or the, sorry, the first turn would be crucial for defeating the boss. You, you really have to deal a lot of um, DPS early on. So while this is loading, here we go. Okay, the boss also tries to, uh, what do you call this? Uh, tries to shuffle up your captain. So also be aware of that and also heals. So that is also one of the things that you should consider and look out for. So first and foremost, uh, first turn, I would uh, deploy active skill for cross converter. Then, if I see that there are enough tiles to go on the board, that I could do a 15 tile combo, then I would have this a go. Let's say, for example, I'll go with this. I'll, I'll have to save the other converters later because mobility in this game is very important because sometimes you are being overwhelmed by... Um, by the enemy so we don't need extra combos unless it is needed so there you go so this is the first one uh first 15 i did not um use the the active skill of sinsa and charon because i'm going to use them here near the boss of course uh sinsa's active skill has bigger damage when he is nearer so we're down to 69. So we're going to do this here. Okay, so you could actually do some push overs for sure. You could actually reserve his active skill later, but I'm opting to do it now to deal tons of damage. Let's going to do this. Okay. So hopefully I could clear the board uh, with two remaining. So I have these. So we're now at 55. So let's do some conversions here with Icy and with Faust. So that we could do another 15 combo, chain combo. Hopefully, we can still do one 15 chain combo. I think we can. So that's the max already. So as much as possible during your first turn, you have to really give it to the boss. Um, lower his HP down to <laughs> however you can lower it. Probably 
around 30%, 20%. If it can lower it much more than that, better. As you can see there, he is at 8%. Because once he gets his turn, he's going to, as you can see there, switch your captain. Then push you back. Which delays you a lot in terms of moving forward again and dealing damage to him. Because he will be healing. So take note of that, guys. <laughs> this boss is going to heal and consume some of his minions. So that actually just buys us time for another combo when we reach um, him, possibly nearer. So... Oh, boy. So how can I move from past this? Okay. So hopefully I can survive while recharge also faust has fear so pretty much a good skill to have so we have here a conversion for two hp still good i think we just have to do these conversions um while we wait for the other skill cooldown especially for sinsa and for charon we have to move. Have to move and at least deal small damages and probably clear some of these pesky, uh, pesky minions away. So he's still at eight percent. In a while, he'll be consuming some of his minions for a heal. So that's a big chunk of an attack. The horizontal attack, horizontal or diagonal. Um, the one that um that uh. Since uh, and Sharon has the diagonal attack, I think, is um, also important in this tight uh, situation. So let's do this. Let's first do this one. Because we're going to move in the direction of the boss. Hopefully, bring him down to an additional, I don't know, 1%. So this is going to be, I think this is going to be a clear ready, guys. So initiate. So there you go. So again, the first the, the DPS in the first turn was very important. Uh, he was never able to heal, and uh, once you get the boss out, the rest is actually <laughs> you know follow suit. So that is how I actually completed this stage. The other option for you guys is... I'm going to discuss another option for a team. You could also bring a... A forest team. Because forest counters um, thunder. The boss is actually thunder. So you could actually use this team. Um, I wasn't able... I tried this team already. This kind of falls short because... Um, Shoban doesn't have a preemptive strike. And I don't have another good converter... Um, aside from Shoban, uh, let's take a look at uh, my forest. So this is my forest team. I don't have an additional converter, which is good to replace Shoban. So that is why she is uh, there. And really, this 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 team is kind of good already. But again, the DPS for the fire unit that I just brought was a bit more you know a bit more deadlier and uh, kind of had a a bigger dps than my forest team so that is it guys so hopefully um you found this little tutorial a bit helpful and for those who have stuck this far please do consider subscribing because this helps my channel a lot thank you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and my and i'm out of here <laughs>